Hey Code Peeps, how's it going? I know this isn't my usual setting, but I just got some new grass laid out in the backyard, so I'm trying to spend a little more time outside. I thought I'd record this video here. I hope it's not too distracting for you guys. Anyways, last week we talked about a few database options that you can choose for your mobile app. In this short video, I wanna give you some tips about how to choose the best one for your specific situation. Now, I think a lot of what I'm going to be saying is kind of common sense, but I wanted to record this video anyway, just in case it helps even a small group of people. So, sound good? All right, let's get started with step one. So, the first thing you should consider, are you building a companion app for an existing product or service? If so, then chances are there's already an existing database for that product or service that your app is going to have to integrate with. Uh, and so the decision is pretty much made for you. There's no choice for you. You're gonna to have to read and integrate with whatever database that existing product or service uses. Okay, so what if you're building an app from scratch? then we move on to step two. If you're building an app, then I'm assuming that you have some sort of idea about what it's supposed to do, right? Well, the more clear you can be about what your app does and what it doesn't do, the better off you'll be because you're going to use those requirements to narrow down the choices of database. Each database has its own strengths and weaknesses. And in this step, you basically take your business requirements and technical requirements and cross off any options off the list which don't fit your needs. I know, in this phase, you're gonna have to do a little bit of research, maybe ask some questions uh, and find out which database option actually would work for your requirements. And don't forget, last week I released a video introducing a few of the options that are available to you, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. So after you've finished with this step, you're left with several options, all of which fit your technical and business requirements. On to step three. Now it's time to look at your end goal. So is the goal to get this app or prototype up and running as soon as possible with the least amount of risk and the highest chance of success? In that case, doesn't it make sense to stick with something that you are familiar with? And that's exactly my recommendation if that is your goal. Make sense? However, if this is, let's say, a pet project or some sort of demo that you're building, um, and it's not mission critical, then you have some chance to experiment. Maybe your goal is to learn a new skill or work with a new database and expand your tool set. In that case, you should choose something out of the remaining options that interests you. Now, if this still doesn't help you narrow it down to a single option, then we move on to step four. Chances are, if you're at this step, then there may be a possibility that maybe you haven't worked with many database options before, so you don't have a preference as to which one, and you're not really sure which one's right for your app still. In that case, I have a couple of recommendations for you. For local databases, I recommend using Realm because it's very easy to set up and it's very beginner friendly, it's very easy to use and understand. For remote databases, I recommend looking into Firebase for much of the same reasons. And also a lot of people are looking to do things like account registrations and logins and they want to integrate analytics and Firebase has a great platform for you to uh, integrate a lot of those features into your app. In the upcoming videos, you're going to see me using a lot of both of these options. All right, so I don't think what I've said here in this video is rocket science, but I hope these guiding principles helps even a small group of you guys who are unsure about what to use. I hope it's been helpful for you guys. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, did you join my free Facebook community yet? That's where I hang out along with a ton of other people learning iOS just like yourself. I also post early access to all of my videos inside that group before I put them on YouTube. You can also get help with any questions you're having. Visit the link below, click on the join group button, and I'll approve your request right away. All right, so I'll see you in there. Talk soon.